Hello everybody all over the world and welcome to high GPS number 366 where we have now gone through every single weapon in the game and then some so we are now doing the balance mod stuff which I designed too so we're like going full circle so today's video is going to be all about that gas passer right so I'm just gonna restart this here and just give a quick demonstration of what the gas passer is originally and it's a very underwhelming and kind of shit uh, weapon for the pyro. So I'm going to be doing a bit of an example. I'm going to be th standing up out here, throwing it at Engineer, and then I'm going to give him a bit of a slap. So there we go. I'm going to give him a slap. And that's really it. Um, so from that slap, the Engineer will burn for a set amount of time. And I'm not sure if it even kills him. Yeah, it doesn't even kill him. So like a total with that slap, he's left with 17 health. So this is the official uh thing wait hold on shit ah i forgot something was wrong all along just saw that the lighting was but now it's better because i turned off the lights but yeah you see that it's not uh it's not good all right it's not good so then i'm going to be enabling the the balance mod version which I have done now. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna reset and then we're gonna stand and we're gonna throw it at the engineer and see what happens. So I'm just using cheats so I don't have to build the bar because we haven't really changed that. So there we go. I'm gonna throw it at the engineer, give him a bit of a slap. And then, uh, shit's on fire, you. And he's dead. And then they die and yeah, so. If you look at the damage here, you can see that it does 45 and then full afterburn. That's the same if you hit anyone with a flare or detonator or scorch shot or something like that. So you can see it's pretty powerful. There's also like this uh, other glitch or like I could say, uh, we call it a feature. And that is that sometimes you're able to like ignite it twice. I think we've shown this a couple of times. Let me see if I can, if I can do it here. So if I go... Like, let's see, it is already burning, right? And I throw this. Yeah, you can see it explodes twice. So, that's a tech. All right, that is something you can do to get the double damage. Of course, it requires a wall and probably some other stuff. I haven't been able to always get the double hit, but, like, you get it sometimes. So, you, you can do it, like, a 90 damage. Double booms. Yeah. So we had some demos submitted today, and by a few I mean three. So uh, let's just go in and we're going to look at it in a bit of a different order. Sometimes we'll just look at uh, all the user submitted ones and then mine. But now we're going to look at some mine and some user submitted stuff and just see how it plays in the balance mod. So I did a lot of collecting on this and I'm still not 100% sure that the gas passer is good enough than it needs to be. Um, I think damage rights it's okay. So it's probably like how often you have it because that, that, like the biggest problem is that you you don't have a secondary Cool. I'm on drive. Let's turn that off. Cool. So here's me uh, Just playing a pyro of course. This is the balance mod So the hand now has the power jack speed we move that over there So that's why I'm always running around with the slappies and we're just gonna see me uh, using it So here we go. There's a bit of a group here. So here we go. We throw the gas, right? And we get a full coverage or everything. Like, this is really good. If we get one hit off here, we'll get a lot of damage done. So we light everybody on fire. You can see I actually hit the engineer. He's caught in the explosion, but he actually doesn't catch on fire because you have to be in the gas cloud. But you do explode next to it. So you can have some nice cascading and then I just instantly die. And the people that I got hit survived. But those are ideally the, uh, the situations you want to be in. Now, the explosions don't cascade the way I thought they did. I thought like if you had a group together, it would be like 45 plus 45 plus 45. But each player kind of explodes themselves. And if someone else is near them, they also explode and take damage from that explosion. So the explosion triggers others explosions, but they don't take damage from your explosion. They take damage from their own explosion. Right? Doesn't make sense? Cool, because it's originally like an MVM thing. Yes, so now we're gonna be looking at Rattle Wrench. Also, uh, if you're wondering about the beard, I'm going to shave tomorrow because I'm going away on a cabin trip uh, with family, so I have to look decent. So 
I thought I'd do No Shave November in uh, in October. So this is going to be our buddy Rattle Wrench here with the Pyro Gas Passer. This is actually uh, when the damage was even less than 45. So we've had it at like, I think 90, which was too much, and then 60, which was too much, and then 30, which was too little, and then 45, which seems to be in sort of like a meh spot. Of course, this is also a custom map. Glass works or cash works or something, I don't, don't remember. But it's interesting. He just throws it like, and then he doesn't do anything. So watch the kill feed. Okay, that's one kill. Two, three. So he actually got like a, like he got like a triple kill by just throwing the gas on the point, and some other people just shot him. So that's something that's pretty good because they do burn for a long time, and if you don't have anti-burn measures, then they're gonna die. So here he makes the best play that he ever does, and that is run into a heavy, which happens to be me, and he just dies. But uh, that also showcases some of the more difficult things with this weapon: is that sometimes you can just throw it. And you have no idea what you're hitting, and you're just racking up kills in the kill feed because of the the damage. So it has the potential to bleed, uh, to bleed, <laughs> to be very good in in certain situations. And before, like in the earlier versions, we had uh, it, you basically wiped an entire cart or an entire point if there was like three or more people on it, and you managed to get like the double double dipper. Uh, yes. So we're gonna look at Robson now guy who plays pyro a lot one thing we've also done with the balance mount i forgot to say is that we've uh, lowered the duration of the gas to eight seconds and we've also slowed down the projectile speed so it's now the same speed as jorati and mad milk which makes it a lot easier to reflect so we're just going to fast forward through here until we get to the right part yes here we go is this was this the right part let's see eight, five eight five yeah yes, yes okay yeah, so here we are. Of course, he has his advanced sniper contract. Gets a nice reflect there. Throws it. And gets, hits the medic and the reflect on the soldier. And that's, that's really it. Of course, uh, the demo bugged out when we did this. But you can see, like, even when you do everything right and you manage to hit big shots, it's not that lethal, right? It's only 45 damage, which is, like, less than, like... I don't remember off the top of my head what like the scorch shot or detonator and stuff do, but it's like less than that. And there's oftentimes you don't have a lot of, you know, uh, sustain because you have no secondary, right? You're just running around with no mid range options most of the time. So this is definitely not the final version. This is just kind of an iteration that we're gonna have to go through. So this is me. Just get and kill on our, uh, the guy who made the uh, balance mod server thing. So here we go, light him on fire first. Get triple kill, uh, triple hit, so that's four times 45. Nice uh, bit of damage there. You can see that they are burning and uh, not dying. So there we go, because balancing this thing is a bit tricky. It's uh, like how easy it is to get compared to how powerful it is because in the beginning jesus like like if you play it on here and you're on defense like you literally could not pass here we have another great gas i cover everything and my team is like lighting stuff on fire all you have to do is just hit this engineer and everything will catch on fire but the heavy for some reason just doesn't and we just kind of go in with a quick fix and jesus christ i'm hungry gee i remember that game you were using the quick fix for like three games and losing like every single engagement every game because he kept using it like uber and it made me mad because when you're be when you're on the third map running the same strategy and it you just get fucking owned repeatedly like there's got to be some cogs in your mind that starts thinking uh maybe i shouldn't be using the quick fix how about that Right, so this is Rattle Wrench, um, a good example of throwing what we call the big gas, but uh, not really getting anything with it. So this is one of the Halloween maps we tested, I think, uh, for the event. I'm not sure if it's going to be in the creator's update or not, but we'll see about that. So here he's just running around with the regular flamethrower, throws it, 
it's an assist and the heavy's on fire and you can see it's ticking up and building but it's not really accomplishing all that much um, so in these situations like from most of the demos that we've seen like it would have been better to just have any sort of secondary that you can shoot so yeah goes around like even though like like we've been through a lot of iterations with the gas pass or like the first iteration was that you just always had it and you could like throw it as much as you wanted like it was just like instant refill but no explosion and it was it was still trash it was so bad so i think the explosion is definitely good also with the slower projectile speed there's a lot more counterplay because when we had the faster uh the lower the the standard speed like doing reflex from other pyros was really difficult because it just came out so fast and uh, it didn't have like the same timings as Jurati and Mad Milk and it was really unreactable um, in a lot of times like by the time you reacted to right click it had already passed you and hit you so let's see here we can get in yeah so here we can see I'm not sure I, I'm pretty sure he saw it because he's bringing out the gas but if you look inside this window you have potential burn targets here all right so here comes Rattle Wrench he has the gas Makes the throw with the. Oh, so he only gets. Oh, well, he gets some of them. They're burning. And he kind of has to back out of those because I left him. And then. Like, you, you threw the gas, but you didn't really get much. And there's an enemy heavy and throws another gas, and he just dies because. Like, he's using Brave Conscript. Literally, just barely under full health after being on fire and exploding in the gas. Heavies don't give a damn about your gas. So we're starting to see some issues here where either it's like we're using it wrong or it's just not powerful enough because we don't have this all the time. Like you can start around with it on if there's setup time, but then you also kind of have to be in, in pyro range without any help of any mid range weapons. Or really any gap, gap closers other than like maybe an extinguish kill or maybe using the, the power jack or the hot hand in this situation. So there's a lot of time we're just running around being useless as a pyro. I mean pyro already has a hard time getting in range uh, to do the stuff. So here we are on the gravel pit last. I'm going to try and push here. You can see my reflex are really on point just missing the bar every single time. So this is what I call a pre-throw right so it's like well there's probably going to be like here my thoughts were there's probably going to be some guys up here at some point right and the gas lingers for a bit so i'm just going to throw it up here and then i'm going to walk around and burn whoever's there and as we can see there was one pyro there and then other people actually walked through and co was covered in gas and actually went up here that was profi so i actually killed the engineer here and then i kind of get bum rushed and i just die but that's a sort of some sort of place you can do because it offers a lot of varied playstyles where you can either light them on fire, push them into the gas where you have pre-throw on the gas, do like me where you pre-throw the gas and you just kind of track down whoever's walked into it, or the like you're lighting them on fire and just throwing it where you are. That's sort of the uh, the different methods. So the question is still like after i've seen a lot of people using it I, like after we nerfed the damage from like or projectile speed primarily i think the damage was maybe fine but the projectile speed makes it easier to dodge and it's harder to hit and you don't can't throw it as far and we also made it so that it deploys a bit slower similar to gerardi so you can't just like instantly whip it out you have to do some planning and because of that sort of planning the initial like power that you have is way less so it's easier to dodge takes longer to uh, like get out essentially to use and then it does even less damage so here we have what we call the big gas so we go in we get like uh, more than three people like you can see here we catch everything on fire here and people just walk into it and then we kind of get stuck on the trajectory and just die but that that was a good gas like we hit like five people which was pretty good uh how and it's times like these I wish I did more prep because I, I, keep, I keep forgetting how much the detonator does point play. I'm going to do that, uh, I think, I think right now after this one. All right, so uh, this is uh, Robson, who is going to be a pain in my ass. 
uh, this game. So we're now defending, of course. This is, I'd say the Gas Pass is more a defensive tool, especially when people are just going around the cart. So it's a good tool to just get people off the cart for a minute when uh, the gas is there, because when once people realize that the gas is scary, and there you go, yeah. If this was the uh, old speeds, like the official speeds, uh, there would be no way for Robson to really reflect that. Because that was Robson that did the reflection there. So now, like, kind of threw the gas back at me and kind of, like, and disabled me and it doing stuff. So here I'm just kind of trying to do something. And then I'm waiting, 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 waiting. Give me ammo, give me ammo. Where's the ammo? Okay, here's the ammo. All right, so now I was like, oh, okay. I, like, I'm... I'm by myself here. Literally, my, my team is, like, dead. Because uh, we lost the fight, right? And there's, there's a soldier just like really far here, and it's me like less than half health. And there's a lot of blue guys. And how will I ever, how will I ever get out of this situation? Well, <laughs> just tune in now. It's like you probably wondered how I got here. So here we go. Gonna throw the gas on my Rob Sands. Rob Sand. Fucking. See, see, Pyro counters this pretty good. If you can air blast properly, it makes me sad. Uh, it's just such a such a good spot to do it too, because there's so much blue and it's like just area denial, and then then you get deleted. All right, so more Borneo. We we're a lot here because most of the other things that I recorded was trash. So here we go in, just get a kill on that. Gonna extinguish my friends. Going a bit forward here. Here we have Robson again. I'm trying to zone him out here. Getting mini crits. Mr. Ball's on the heels. And then it's going back right now. You can see, like, because I don't have a shotgun and I don't have, like, uh, any kind of weapon or jetpack or really good gap closers, I'm kind of just stuck in this really weird position where I can't really do much other than just kind of try and light some people on fire and then throw the gas. So here I actually get the kill on Rob Sand. So no pyro, I throw it, right? And we get hit a good gas and everybody catches on fire. Do a lot of damage here and just die. Uh, but we did get a lot of kills. And that's oftentimes what happens when you use the gas passer, especially in like chokes like these, where it's really cramped and you manage to just get a throw and you just light everybody on fire, you die. And then maybe they they also die sometimes, or they just survive because we have a lot of healers and anti-fire. So, yeah. Yes, okay, thank you, Joe, uh, Zoe Smish, Sm Schmidt, for the damage. So it's like 23, 23 base, and you're hitting people that's not on fire, so it does more damage than those, but it's like you can throw it once. So here we go, another throw, and oh, big gas, big gas, but shit, I, they're too far away, man. Like, I, I, dudes, dudes, team, guys, I hit them in the gas. Who's here to follow up on this damage? I mean, he's not gonna see it. Uh, uh, that sniper's not gonna... Guys. I mean, I, I did everything right. I threw the gas on them. But they need to take some damage to light on fire. And if I walk in there, I'm dead. If I walk in there, I'm dead. So here we go. Any, any kind of damage from anyone on my team. Anyone. A sniper. Anything. Please. Maybe a reflect. I hit the ground. And they just kind of... Walked, mm, walked, okay, and now they're... <laughs> no, it was perfect. It was perfect, and then nobody was there to help. Oh. So, uh, and then we kind of just get, like, the mini crit for, for, uh, to make us feel better. But we, it was such a good guess. Oh, chance, chance. Huh. And bam. Yeah. Damn. Damn. As common tears said in the chat, a slight miscalculation. You know, I would think my teammates would be near the choke where the enemy is, but boy, was I mistaken. They were even further back, looking at the scenery, because my team were apparently 
a bunch of tourists. <laughs> All right. All right, so redemption route. Let's see what more we can get. So we can see that there's definitely, oh yeah, three snipers. I can't imagine why we're losing. And uh, I'm just kind of stuck on this gas passer, this ass passer. We haven't seen the full wipes we've seen in the past when uh, everything was better. So here we go. Oh, here we go. Big gas, big gas, big gas. Do we have a big gas? Yes. Oh, look at the gas. All the kills die, die, bitch. Ooh. And we have another one. Um. My my brilliance could cut short because I don't know what happened to the medic. Fucking vanished. Should should we have a little look again and see what happened to me? Because I I think the Uber would have lasted longer. I felt I felt I felt uh, I felt like I got robbed. All right, so here we go. Coming in with the Uber. Uber's about to fade. James, you can see I get this, and right now we have the medic is with me. I'm in the front. There's no sentry. There's literally no reason to not engage this and help me and uh, stuff. So right now I'm just gonna fast forward. So he just kind of fucks off. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. And I'm here on the pyro. Like I'm at full health. I could have done so much damage if James just didn't f fuck off there. It's like, oh. GPS just went in and could do a lot of damage. Get some. I'm out. I'm out. See ya. Oh, that could that could have some but such potential because you can combo it into itself. Because if you land a good one, it builds the meter for the next one, right? So here we go. Here we go. So just gonna do some reflex here, throwing the gas. Landing the big gas, doing the damage. And he has a lot of health. We take him out. Take this guy out. It's whoop. There we go. Throwing another gas right onto the pyro. Ice bear. He dies. He dies as well. So that was actually pretty good. We held that. In part to me throwing the gas. And now I have no mid range and I missed the air blast and I died. But uh, some some potential there for sure. Yeah. We did we did all right with it. So having reviewed all these demos and having played with it this much, I feels like it doesn't recharge quickly enough to justify you not having it most of the time. Because if you're not able to get the, the damage, you're not gonna be able to continuously combo it, right? So that's sort of like a problem. But I do think like the damage and stuff is fine, because if the damage is too high, there's literally no counterplay. It's like, well, I got covered in gas and now I'm dead sort of thing and that's kind of what we want to avoid right we want to have it like a balance so it's both fair for the pyro like it does have sufficient kill power but there's also enough counterplay and, and stuff to do so here we go and here we have an example of oh god i remember this game oh i was so mad because the medics kept healing the guys that was not in the front which made the guys in the front die which was me repeatedly yeah talking to you Dicta! Ugh! What a medic main. So I also switched to the power balance mod power jack. And, uh, yeah, so here we are. We're trying to push through here, and then the, we have a, there's a lot of good people on the other point here. And you can see, like, I'm, I'm really struggling. There's really no way for me to go in here where I would die. So here we go. We have an Uber, and I'm like, yeah, Adam, you'll flash me, right? You'll flash, you'll, you'll, you'll flash me, right? You'll flash me. Because a pyro in the front here is way better than a demo in the front, right? Yes, okay, there's a flash. Ooh, 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 throw the gas. Oh, everything's on fire, and we're dead, we're dead. But we're still racking up kills. The medic's dead, and I think, I think we got it. So we actually got it there. Ooh, <laughs> crisis averted. I'm not mad anymore. But I was, I... I was pretty upset there because it's like, as a medic, you heal the guys in the front. The guys in the back that's chilling around the dispenser, the dispenser got this. You need to heal the guys in the front that's keeping up pressure. If uh, if the guy is keeping up uh, pres the pressure dies, then uh, the pressure is removed and the enemy can just kind of do whatever they want to the front lines, which is basically move it further back, which is what they want. So, coming up with the final demo of the day, it's going to be 
our dearest Rob San. And ah, oh, did you miss it? Did you blink? Wait, hold on. Let's see. It was. Okay, go back another thousand tick. There we go. Gonna be loading that thing again. Yeah, I think uh, maybe making it uh, recharge via ammo packs or just a faster recharge in general is, is a better way to do it. All right, so you guys remember this, right? Yeah, this is Rob Sam, the dick that fucked me over. So here we go. He's just oh, do you remember? Do you remember? Did you see the pyro up there? It was just like super duper fucked. Yeah, this is the. This is the what he sees. So he sees this and just air blast him and kill him. Cool, right? That's uh, that's what we wanted to see there. Just me getting owned from another angle. So let's go to the next tick. So here we go, just fast forwarding here, don't mind me. All right, so here we go. Look at this gas. Can't actually see it, but this is actually perfect. If this guy had the healing heater, that would've been really good. Of course he has crits. So I'm, uh, Rob Zen is over here somewhere. So you can see here, like, hits everything. Oh, that's pretty good. And then Rob Zen is here. You can see, oh, look, look at the damage, that's big damage. That is probably the best gas passer that we've seen here, where he just hits everything. Goes in, gets a kill on that, and now he has the gas again, ready for a second time. And then watch the kill feed. So he just threw the gas, right, and he's dead. And one kill, assist, two kills. So, that was after he died. And you can also see that his gas meter is actually kind of on the way up. So that is going to conclude uh, the gas passer uh, episode where uh, we looked at the the, the gas passer uh, for for the pyro in the balance mod that we have. So already like even with damage and and stuff, it's still not good because when we're doing balance, it's very easy to make it too good. Like it's way too easy to use. Like in the past, like I mentioned, like it will do like. I think it was like 80 or 90 damage or something, which means that if you got the double hit, like you hit a wall, you would kill like everything. And uh, yeah, that was that was pretty strong. Yeah, so let's see here. I'm gonna bring it into this this game again. So just to give you an idea of how much you need to do in order to charge it, throw it, right? So we're just gonna do kills, like let's do. So that's one. Two, three, four. So basically a little more than four classes you need to kill before you'll have it. And once you ignite it, you see it refills pretty quickly again, right? Because of the afterburn and stuff. So if people are burning, you will get it and then you can just throw another one and you have another boom. And then, yeah. So it has some, I would say like the highs of the weapon right now is pretty mediocre where um uh like like the highs aren't really that high but the low is oh, it's low no mid-range pressure for the pyro that's pretty difficult so yeah why did i go out of the server i'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing next week um yeah so what we're we gonna be doing or no, not next week because i'm busy but uh in the next video whenever i have the time to do it. We're going to be looking at probably one of the most roided up weapons in the balance mod, which is going to be the medic uh, bone saw. Now this th this thing does a lot now, right? If you look at the stats, it's like <laughs> four seconds of bleed, fifteen percent more damage, four gain, four HP gain per tick, and on kill you get uh, a health pack. So that means, let's say, if I'm like. If I'm a low health and I like hit the spy twice, I kill him, right? Pick up this. And then I can like hit this heavy and just run away. And uh, it has insanely good sustain. You can see like it does like 79 damage. And I think you kill most of the squishies just by one, with one hit or almost one hit rather. So like anything will, will kill at this point. So yeah, it's meant as a self defense tool when you're actually hitting the enemy and you want to kind of like survive and then die. So it's uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So we had some people
complaining that it's too good. Although I have in the Europe uh, servers, I, I, I never see any medic running this ever. Because why would you? Because like the bone saw is still good. You have the Vita saw, which is just crazy healing. Right? And then the amputator is good and the solemn valve is okay for speed and stuff. And uh, we'll see. It has tremendous kill power, that's for sure. So, thank you for watching. Please try the balance mod, balancemod.tf. We have a matchmaker that hopefully is working better now and it doesn't time out, so check that out. So yeah, bone saw next time. Cool. Be sure to join the Discord, follow me on Twitter, join the Steam group for our announcements, and uh, see you in the next one.